let's talk about the component slots and the dynamic components in this episode so with that i'm your host sarthak and this is a channel where i talk about many web development things so if you are new to this channel don't forget to subscribe like bitfumes on facebook twitter and instagram okay so let's get started and let's create a new folder as we always do but i will create a folder name hash 11 but html index.html instead of copying every time we copy everything from the previous episode but this time we will create a fresh html5 marker because i don't need now the bootstrap because bootstrap already have its functionality what in this episode we are going to see so do one thing let's grab the burma so burma burma is here burma.io so let's talk about burma and here we have this elements this components so burma provide only the css things no javascript so let's get the model from here and this one is good okay so let's copy this from here and paste it here so here we have but as we want Burma, so we need its CDN. So type Burma CDN. So Burma CDN. And here we have the link. So anyone is good for us. Tag. And that's it. We don't need anything. Let's see how it's look like in the browser. So here it is. And the 11th one index.html it's not having anything yet here and we can't see that model why because it's a model so model is always hidden so it is only activated when we want so for burma we have to give is active class here then we can see that okay so what i want to do Firstly, I want to create a button. So I will cre create an anchor tag and inside anchor tag, I will say launch model and let's see the component for the button on the Boma. So that means element button and for the button, we have these kind of links. So class is if we say dark one, so copy this and paste for this one okay so now go back and refresh yes we have this and let's let's move it somewhere else so okay so let's see the container so container is here so let's give it inside the container so div dot container and this is inside containers because model doesn't has to be anything with us so that's okay but it's not giving that oh container spelling is different so container is here so let's go and refresh yes container is here let's give it a margin of 1 br okay so what i want i want to click this launch model button and i want to launch that model so let's see how we can do that with view so so firstly get the view script so open last one and this view script we want yes and paste it on the head part okay so everywhere every time we have used a script here and we will code the view part on that let's create a new script file so i will say view.js okay and in this file we will give our view and we have to include that file so script and source will be simple view.js okay so let's create a new view which is having an element of hash app that means the id of app so let's give this container an id of app okay so we have everything let's go and refresh and no error that means everything is fine okay 
so firstly what I want to do I want to have some click event of this launch button so instead of doing all these things here we are on the view so we can do it better so before going ahead let's close this sidebar and now open these two in two views and move this one here so that we can see what we are doing on the view part and on the HTML part so I have this element and inside we have this button so I want to cut this button from here and create a new component and we know that component has to be at the top of where we are defining the view okay so now we have to say view dot component and the component again the spelling <laughs> keep in mind the spelling component name is btn we can't use button because it's reserved for real html so it's not real so btn okay after that what we have to say here the template is to drag and inside drag paste this anchor tag okay so here we have our btn so if i say btn here that will be okay also refresh and it's not getting that thing the problem is here when we are giving this we have to give this parenthesis okay not parenthesis the curly braces okay go refresh and yes we have this launch button model back similarly let's create a new component for component again M has to be there and now this will be model and inside here now we need template which is same as our model so what I will do I will grab this model from here cut it out and paste it here simple and here let's give inside the app that means inside container I'll have, I have to say model and everything is good go back refresh no error that means everything is fine okay so now we have to work here so what we want firstly we can see if I say here is active then refresh and yeah but instead of my in, instead of modal title I want to say here uh, where is modal title I want to say here let's say view tutorial go back refresh and yes but what if you want to give this word or this value from the parent that means from the uh, HTML not from the view so for that let's suppose we have this so I think we have to say like this here oops not that I have to copy this one and it looks like we have to give it here go back refresh uh, we have this so try to delete this one so refresh and now we don't have that why because now this model is not accepting any of the content inside that how we can put this content here for that the slots came here so now you have to say here slot okay and close this also go back refresh and yes we have this and now let's see in the footer I will give uh, in the section here I will give this uh, as instead of this I will say lorem ipsum so lorem ipsum everything is here and go back refresh and yes we have this section but again I want to give this thing from here so instead of this I will say lorem ipsum so lorem ipsum is here let's see go back and oops what happened because I have told the model 
the component model that if you found everything inside the model put that inside the slots but I want to give only this thing on the slot and lorem ipsum on the section here comes the named slot so what we can say here again we can create a slot but this time I will give this a name of section so name of name of section and here I will say uh, let's say I have a div inside the div I will give lorem ipsum but I will say here slot name is section okay go back refresh and yes we have placed everything here but one more problem is here you have seen that we have given this div but I don't want to give this div here so let's inspect this one you can see we have this section inside section we have div but in real model it's not having anything so how we can strip out this div but we have to have some tag which on which we are giving the slot name so view provide you the next big thing called template and now when you go refresh you have everything working but now when you inspect this one you can see it has section and directly put everything inside that section that means this template it is stripped out from this so this is the best part of the view components but I still have some problem why because I want to close this but how can I close this it's not closing this model even if I remove this is active class from here go back it's not launching it you can see we have to give some functionality here and that thing we will see in the next episode but before going I want to tell you something that I want to teach you I want to include the videos for react for angular for ionic and much more thing node.js and these will come in the future but my goal is to have this channel at the level of where you can learn even the Android app development and the iOS app development. So for that I need your support. Please support me on the Patreon because that will help me a lot and if you don't know about Patreon it's just a crowdfunding website where you can donate someone uh, any amount you want to so even one dollar will be more appreciable because a little drops of water makes a mighty ocean your one dollar will make huge change in this channel and in your life because your support is beneficial for me to create videos for you so I will appreciate any any support uh, so if you are not able to support me on patreon that's not a problem please support me on the Facebook like bitfumes on the Facebook even that is not possible enough then please don't forget to subscribe even that is not enough please comment here even that is not enough please share these video with your developer please support bitfume so that you can grow and I will grow, we will grow together. We will meet in the next episode. Till then, goodbye.